There's no light at the end of the tunnel. It's wrecked families. One lass described a mother going to see a son. She didn't recognise him. She went into a visit hall and had to ask the prison staff where her son was. He was in front of her sat at a table. She no longer goes. It upset her that much. Criminal justice system, not fit for purpose. Durham woman's pain after IPP prisoner brother's suicide. Tragic. Believed to be the UK's longest serving IPP prisoner took his own life in prison 17 years after he was jailed on a 23 month tariff. Scott Ryder, 45, was given a minimum tariff of 23 months for GBH while on license for an early offence in 2005. The first year IPPs were used. I'm going to be interviewing a lad. A couple of lads who were IPP prisoners. IPP sentences were introduced in 2005 and scrapped in 2012 and have no release date. They were misused. They were made, designed for people who were danger. A danger in society. Think men who force the cells on women and children. You know what I'm talking about. They have been caused to resentence the 1,227 IPP prisoners who have never been released. A bill is making its way through the House of Lords and will be debated and voted on in the coming months. Right, I don't need to look at that anymore. Let me tell you now, they're dragging their feet. This has been brought up enough times. People are campaigning, loved ones are campaigning. I've seen loved ones, I've interviewed three loved ones who have siblings in prison. They're approaching now something like 13, 14, 16 and 19 years in prison, not seeing the light of day on tariffs of 24 months, 30 months and the like. It was designed as a sentence for people who commit acts of terror. Yeah, no release date. It was misused, it was handed out to young men and some young women who decades later are still in prison and can't get out. People were placed uh, on their files, things they had to do, courses they had to achieve in line with his sentence. Imagine you're in a prison. You can't, it's difficult if you've never been, but imagine you are. Two and a half years maximum to serve your tariff. That's what you believe, but you're on an IPP sentence. Two and a half years comes and goes. There's a course you need to do. You can't do it in your prison. You can't get to another prison. Absolutely torturous sentence. These lads and lasses who are still inside the 1227 are wrecked. Yeah. When you get in front of the parole board, they got up one day, you know, maybe an officer's booted the door, slammed the door open, had a shout at them. They've told them to F off, do one, whatever. It's gone under file. Yeah, you're not getting out. It truly is shocking, torturous sentence. The government are absolutely dragging their feet. Our prisons are full. There's 1,227 lost souls because all of them lads and lasses will need help. Yeah, a lot of them had ended up in segregations. Um, it, they've ended up as those prisoners who are, you know, badly behaved and seen as disruptive. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. It's wrecked. Families. One lass described a mother going to see a son. She no longer goes. It upset her that much. She didn't recognise him. She went into a visit hall to see her son and had to ask the prison staff where her son was. He was in front of her sat at a table. She didn't 
recognize him. There's a lad who's just finished his license. Tony Axman, again, will explain that. Wilson, he's going to say it how it is. He is free of the IPP system, 10 year license when you first get out of prison. He's going to be done with it in a few weeks. That lad will say it how it is. You know, when we talk about prison, you know, what's going on and misuse of sentences and things like that. This IPP sentence was misused. Gary Glitter released at the halfway point of his 16 year sentence. He should have been an IPP prisoner. He wouldn't have been released then. It was done away with in 2.12, it was misused. I know one lad, I'm gonna be interviewing him. He's fought to stay out. He got a 10 year IPP for him. That could have been a life sentence. He got out after 10 years. His probation gave him advice when he went into prison. Be yourself. Don't change. He refused to comply. He refused to do coursework that people set him. Violent, very violent past. Violent person. He's now turned to boxing and bare knuckle boxing. But he refused to comply. He got out because a professional person, yeah, a psychologist, did a report. And after 10 years in prison, same psychologist did another report, along with a prison psychologist. So he did no coursework. He didn't comply with the IPP sentence. But he got out because then two psychologists said keeping him inside would do more damage. Imagine, imagine if you can, go and put yourself in family bathroom for 10 minutes. Yeah? No noise, no sound, no phone. Just 10 minutes. Imagine that isolation. Yeah? For 15, 20 years. For a petty crime. A lot of lads and lasses on IP sentences have killed themselves inside. I know one lad met him who killed himself. Nothing to live for. No support on the outside. Poor childhood. When we say poor childhood, you know, abuse, neglect. Took his own life. Tragic IPP prisoners. And the government, well, MPs in general, just dragging their feet. Thanks for your continued support. God bless you all, IPP prisoners. Let's hope something happens on that front. Can't even imagine the pain lads and lasses and families have gone through. I'll see you there.